Hey everybody, we're going to do mean absolute deviation, or MAD. It's kind of a lot of steps, so I want to take it slow. We're gonna, this data, the set of data values is right here. So like when we're um, pretty much doing any of the statistics, we want to do the data values from least to greatest. So we're going to pull out the data, and I've got it here just to help me out. So I've got 42, we want to make sure we're taking care of each of the data values. 55, 56, 60, 78, 80, 88, 90, 99, and 102. Can we see 102 okay in there? All right, so for mean absolute deviation, the first thing we need to look at is this. How do we find the mean? So we're going to add all of the numbers. So we add them all up to find the mean. So 42 plus 55 plus 56 plus 60 plus 78 plus 80 plus 88 plus 90 plus 99 plus 102 and that gave me 750 so I always suggest doing it twice in the calculator I did it twice because I've already done it so now I'm going to take that 750 and I'm going to divide it by the number of data values so we covered those we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so the mean is going to be 750 divided by 10, which is 75. So the mean is 75. Now, the difference in this math with the mean absolute deviation is we have to find out how far each of these values is away from the mean. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take I'm going to take the mean and I'm going to find out how far 42 is from the mean by subtracting. So I'm going to go 75 minus 42, and that's 33. I'm going to do 75 minus the 55, that's going to be 20. 75 minus 56, 19. 75 minus 60, you can probably mental math that one, that's 15. 78 minus 75 is going to be a 3. 80 minus 75 is going to be a 5. 88 minus 75 is going to be 13. 90 minus 75 is going to be 15. 99 minus 75 is 24. It's okay to mental math it. I just want to make sure I'm doing it right right now. I'm being sure on my math. So 102 minus 75 is 27. The next step, we have to add all those. So we're going to add all of the differences. So I've got 33 plus 20 plus 19 plus 15 plus 3 plus 5 plus 13 plus 15 plus 24 plus 27. That gives me 174. 174. Now, with that sum total, of the differences, I have to divide the number of data values. How many data values were there? There were 10. So 174 divided by 10 gives me 17.4. So our MAD, our mean absolute deviation, is going to be 17. Point four. A lot of steps. 
That's how you get there to find the mag. Thank you.